a libra and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and for being patient with me um throughout my move and everything that i've been going through lately so i do thank you guys again for that now um i did want to get some readings out before august so this is just going to be uh in the now reading okay so just a quick celtic process see what's going on and I do want to thank you guys who have been emailing me, commenting, subscribing, donating. It's all a huge help and really keeps me going with this channel. So thank you if you've taken the time out to do that. All right. So let's see what is going on with the sign of Libra. Okay. What is happening with the sign of Libra? Today is July 27th. So I will be having your... August readings out in just a few days. Okay. What is going on with the sign of Libra? All right, guys. Okay. I forgot what kind of spread I was going to do for a second. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Make some room over here. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Let me just adjust my stuff real quick. Here we go. All right. All right, so the energy for this reading is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So you guys may be going through something where you're feeling a huge financial loss or you're just feeling a loss in general of resources. But um, I do see you being strong within this, you know, being emotionally stable within this. Excuse me. And there could have just been something that you were hoping you were going to get off the ground. And maybe you're dissatisfied with the fact you haven't been able to get it off the ground. But I do see you guys being strong and solid about it, but possibly just cutting out something that didn't work for you. All right, so let's see how this plays out. So you guys in the present moment is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles, it can mean a lot. You know, it could mean that you guys are in a place where uh, you're trying to build with other partners in terms of business. It could be you just trying to communicate better with a partner or with a family member, but just trying to build. These are people who are coming together who all have, um, you know, the same the same goal in mind and they're going to work together to accomplish that in the best way possible and to possibly make everybody here feel more abundant. Now let's clarify this. Why is this three of pentacles here? Knight of wands. So you're building on something that you guys feel very passionate about. Okay. I thought a card flipped, but it did not. Yeah, you got the Queen of Wands. Wow, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. And yes, this deck is very shuffled. So, you know, there could be a lot of people involved in something that you are all collectively trying to build. Okay, but there's definitely passion there. Now, what's crossing this is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like you're all working on this, you know, same end goal that you have. But with the Page of Pentacles, it's like you might have to get back to the drawing boards. Maybe the first way you went or tried to go about this, it just wasn't working out. So now it's just like getting back to the drawing boards. All right, how do we do this? Let's do a little bit more research. Let's find a different approach and let's try this again. So kind of uh, taking a step back in order to find a better solution. All right, and this could be causing a little bit of arguing, nothing too heavy. The five of wands is just like competition, struggle, bickering, pettiness, okay? And you guys may be worried about this, okay? So things may not be manifesting as quickly as you'd like it to or as smoothly as you'd like it to, and you're trying to find that option, and that could be stressing you out a bit, but I do see, you know, a lot of communication here on, on you know, coming up with a solution for this. Now, in your foundation, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. So with this being your foundation, guys, just be careful because there's a way of getting a message across but without being as petty as possible. And I know it's hard and it's 
you know, it's hard to avoid being petty and it's fun being petty sometimes, but, um, you know, when we're trying to manifest things or get something done, it's just easier to go about it in, um, in a more intellectual way because the page of swords is somebody who's very, very smart. But it's like they're so smart that they're a smart ass. And it's like they're using all their wittiness to just kind of, you know, dead you and throw all these, like, one-liners at you. But there's a way to get your thoughts across in a very direct way. But not in this way. Because this is somebody who kind of regurgitates things without even thinking about it. And it's just like, whoa, what did you just say? And it's like, oh, shit, man, I didn't mean that. So just be sure that... Um, what you're saying and what you're putting out is going to benefit everybody and not make things worse than what it is, okay? Make sure, ask yourself, is this necessary? Is this going to get me to my end goal if I say it this way, okay? And, you know, in your foundation as well, there's a huge change happening within you guys and it could be an unsettling change. unsettling but not so much in the fact that it's going to turn out bad but unsettling just because change sometimes is hard but i do see this being something that's going to stabilize you eventually so you could be having you know some rough communication with uh, a person or with certain people um in in reference to this thing you guys are trying to to manifest but i do see you changing and although you know you might be saying some smart ass things you're still you know building on your stability with that king of pentacles here this is you know the most stable figure in the deck yeah for the most part because this is somebody who's very grounded and you know they take things slowly and they do things methodically and they just want the best outcome and they usually get the best outcome as well especially if this is something that has to do with finances all right so in your past we have the three of cups in the reverse all right so the three of cups in the reverse if this is a reference to love you could have been dealing with a third-party situation. Um, if this is just with you and you're completely single, this could be you engaging in a lot of partying, drinking, you know, codependent behavior. Um, this could be somebody who is in isolation because the Three of Cups upright is all about, you know, partying, having fun, celebrating things. But in the reverse, it's like, no, I'm not going out today. Nope, 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 leave me alone. So it's one of those things. Okay, but it could be in reference to love or a situation that you guys did not like where it's like you found out some unsettling information or someone found out unsettling information about you and you cut them out or they cut you out, okay? And there was a new start here to just cut the bullshit from, uh, you know, from poss this possible third-party situation. All right, now, next card is your present moment the high priestess in reverse so that makes sense you know if you're going through something that's a little bit unsettling i can see how you guys could be off your um off your game a bit just really in your head about things not tapping into your intuition as powerfully as you can all right but you're working on that you're working on changing that you're working on moving forward despite the fact that you might not feel 100 percent good and you know what you are going to feel good you have the six of wands so this is um, you know, good things coming in for you guys. You feeling proud after this heartbreak or this disappointment that happened in your past. You know, you stood your ground and now you have new offers coming in, whether it be with love or whether it be with business. And there's a lot of communication about this. So whether it was you guys that did something wrong in the past or the other person, just let bygones be bygones and move forward because we can't change the past and we shouldn't let it affect our future. Okay, and you're working hard, and although you feel a little bit off, you, you're working for this. You're getting that, you know, that Ten of Cups feeling, that emotional fulfillment there. Now, going into your future, you guys have the Death card. And I think in this case, the Death card might be a good thing where it's like you're fully able to release uh, that disappointment from the past, and you're able to move forward and make your life a lot better than what it was because you're starting something new. You're rolling up your sleeve. You're saying, you know, let me roll up my sleeve. Let me get my hands dirty. I'm not afraid to get some dirt under my nails. Let's work. Let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, and you're going to find balance in this. You got uh, the Six of Pentacles at the bottom, and now you have the Temperance card, the Empress card, and the Death card. This is about ending something that just didn't serve you anymore, cutting out the dead weight, and starting something new that's going to be beautiful, okay? And that's going to make you balanced. 
Now the next card you guys have here is yourself. The higher thought, moving to higher ground, getting away from things that didn't serve you, um, being in a more socially acceptable place. So I see you guys really building within your power. Okay? And sometimes when we build, there's a burden, and that's okay. Especially with new starts, there's always that, oh, crap, now I have a lot, you know, to worry about. I have a lot to do. But there was a third-party situation, I feel, that you guys had to cut out, that you were heartbroken about, and you just had to end it. Or if it was with a job, or there's just something um, that at one point you celebrated and you felt good about, but now it's just you don't. It's something you have to cut out. All right? And there's the death card there again, guys. Okay, so this is you walking away, and it might feel a little burdening, but with the Hierophant being, you know, the, the major card there, this is good. This is necessary. This is something that has to happen in the way that the universe wants to guide you. Now, the next card you guys have here is your environment. So in your environment, you have the Page of Cups in the reverse. This could be coming from you, or this could be coming from someone else. But there's this new start that's happening here, but there's either, you know, someone in your environment or yourself that they're not 100% ready. Now, with the Page of Cups in the reverse, it's not that he intends to be malicious towards anyone, but it's just someone who has hopes, but and, and they have desires in terms of love or new opportunities, but there's something that's holding them back, okay? So that's kind of like if you get out of a breakup and, you know, you're really upset, this person was really, really shitty, and then, you know, you find yourself two, three weeks later walking into the mall, and it's just like you lock eyes with a complete stranger, and you guys talk, and it's just like, Oh my God, I never thought I'd find something like this. But it's like, you want to get with them, but you're still not over your past. So it's not saying that it's not a good thing that's coming. It's just that you guys might be held back right now from going forward. Or you may have someone um, around you that's held back by the things in their past or the thoughts of their past. Because there is love there. There is love there. There's emotional fulfillment there. There's desire and there's that, uh, you know, that moving forward. And moving forward with speed. So maybe that's why the Page of Cups is in the reverse, because it's like, okay, you know, I'm ready to do this. And the person's like, okay, well, let's do it right now. And you're like, whoa, <laughs> hold on. I said I would do it, but can we, like, can we talk about it? Like, can we, you know, map this out? Like, can we take our time? Do we have to jump into it right now? So, yeah, because you might still be thinking about a loss that you had with that Five of Cups there. Now, the next card you guys have here is your hopes and your fears. Offer being accepted. All right. And you have the world card here. So it's like you're hoping that something's going to be accepted, whether you're the one um, offering it or someone else is offering it to you. And I feel like you're still having like this juggling in your head. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I do this? Do I not? You're hoping for this new start, but you're also like shit. But I think you guys should go ahead and do it because I see you turning your back on your past and just looking to expand. Now, the outcome you guys have is the nine of swords in reverse. So you're finally getting out of this mental trap. You guys are, you know, not worried the way you were in the past year. Not worried over that heartbreak. Because look at where we start. We started here. We started here and we ended here. So that in itself, guys, is a victory. Because you take yourself out of a dark place and you get justice on the situation. You know, justice is served. The universe realigns and it gives you what you need. And that's stability. Okay. Just as a serve, you come out of this place of worry and you find stability. All right? So it's a roller coaster, but it was well worth it. Okay? So I love you guys. Thank you again for your patience, um, for just letting me do my thing. Now I am still taking uh, personal readings. As usual, I'll leave everything in the description. And again, thank you for your donations, your likes, subscribes. I do appreciate, I do appreciate all of that. So I will be back in a few days for your August reading. Take care, guys.